Hello guys, it's me. I'm back apparently. Um, welcome back to Hypercraft. I, if you have forgotten, and you may well have, am Woolly Creeper. Um, and yeah, um, I'm sitting down, biting the bullet, getting back into the recording thing. Um, I'm going to start by apologising for my prolonged absence. It wasn't planned. Um, basically... Yeah, it's kind of hard to describe, but I I basically, I guess I got a bit fatigued with the whole video making. It's not like, you know, um, or I've never found it to be a super, super easy um, thing to actually do and keep up. Um, you know, I, put, I try to put quite a lot of thought into my videos um, and have something to show you every episode. And I guess it got on top of me, um, which I'm sorry about. Um, basically, I had a few attempt, failed attempts at recording um, what my <laughs> my next episode, as it were, back uh, you know, I guess a couple of months ago now. And uh, every time I sat down to record, I started getting stressed out, and you know about being behind schedule, and and I decided that for a completely unpaid thing that I do purely for enjoyment, it really wasn't worth getting stressed out over to that degree. Um, I mean, you know, people who record videos should care about what they put out, but yeah, it wasn't worth getting myself stressed out. Unfortunately, the thing is, when you stop recording, you rapidly fall out of the habit. Um, so, yeah, I've really had to... Um, force myself to get back into this um i'm hoping not to do what i've seen many other people do and that is record an episode saying i'm back and then drop off the radar again so i'm not sure when you're going to see this um i may end up waiting until i've got one or maybe two more episodes under my belt before releasing that um or i may get excited and release it regardless but um yeah i apologize for the long long absence um firstly uh before i show you well i'm gonna be walking around and you're gonna see a few things that i've done like this um i've not really played m much at all to be honest just a few hours um worth of play uh, i've not even watched youtube or or anything um which if you follow me on twitter you'll Notice that, you know, I've not been leaving likes on videos, because not because I've disliked videos, but I've not been watching them. So, yeah, I'm really out of the loop of, with what's going on. Uh, I've, I've not even really been in the Skype chat with the guys on the server. I've really taken myself completely out of it. Um, and in a way, it's been a good break. Um, but, you know, it... I do enjoy this activity and it, I feel I felt it was time time to get back into it. <laughs> um, but I would like to thank um, all and everyone who um, basically uh, sent uh, messages to me asking me where I was and if I was all right. I didn't get back to. I don't, I'm not even sure I got back to anyone, maybe one or two, but um, partly because I wasn't even logging into YouTube or checking Twitter at all. I can't even remember which one of these buttons is death. Uh, maybe that one? Uh, nope, that's going to try and put him in with the farmers. There's probably too many farmers in there. Oh no, he's in there. <laughs> Never mind. Um, uh, yeah, basically... Because I've not been logging on, um, I, I haven't gone back to people. Um, a few names I can remember. I'm sorry if I miss anyone out. But The Nurl, uh, Unary Bit, um, Dracart didn't ask where I was, but gave me a shout out in one of the few videos I did watch in my hiatus, um, which was lovely. Um, the guys on the Hypermine have, hello, shown their concern. Um, as to where I was, and you know, I, I told them that I was taking a break. Um, die. Um, 
and various other people um have have sent me messages so you know i'm sorry that i've been dismally uh, <laughs> and, um rude enough to not get back to you and thank you in person but um yeah uh it's been it's just one of the it's one of those things where you kind of get out of a scene and you just it, it's difficult to involve yourself in that at all until you're ready to uh dive in feet first as it were which was kind of the feeling i'd had that until i was ready to dive in i i, I didn't want to I was I almost felt wrong being involved at all. So this is me attempting to dive in. Um so you've seen a few things. I've not really done a lot. Now I have built the beginnings of a new building down here. We'll take a look around. Um need some more white glass, but uh yeah, I came up with this design in just messing around in in creative and thought just basically this bit here. And thought, you know, you could build a building out of that quite nicely. Um, I think it's, uh, I think it's coming together quite nicely, actually. Um, and I figure what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of do a bit of this while uh, for for this episode, just to ease myself back in. Um, I think let's do let's grab that much. Right. Um, you may, those of you who've been with the channel a while will realize that the, the boat elevator is missing. Um, and yeah, I needed, uh, I, I never really intended for that boat elevator to be there as long as it was. And I never really used it anymore, to be honest. I, I don't go down there mainly because I don't really like the cave at the bottom. It's, it's too small. Uh, but I do intend to replace that with either a piston elevator or an ender pearl elevator or something like that. Um, so, yeah, that's what's happened to that. In fact, I tell you what, let's. Uh, it's going to be easier to do from up here. Um, so, yeah, this building, um, I'm thinking, is going to be a, a storage building. Now, I know I've got some chests up there, but. Uh, there's not much capacity there, so I would like a bigger storage building. Um, I always kind of thought that I was going to do a full, you know, uh, item sorter deal. Um, but in the end, I figure, you know what? It's almost not worth it. They create, they're real lag monsters and they take up so, so much space. Um, it, is it really worth the worth it to build them? And I don't think it actually is. So I'm just going to build, um, you know, a, a nice area that's got plenty of chests in, so that you know I can I'm not overflowing on certainly the bulk items. Um, so that's what we're doing here. Um, but uh, yeah, so oh my goodness, I'm quite out of practice and I was never very good at these talky episodes where I, I just talk as I do stuff anyway uh, but uh, you know let, let's see I don't want to I don't want to overtax myself too much you know try and put the pressure on to produce some miracle invention which is kind of what I used to that was my thing I wanted to give you guys like a, an invention every um every episode now what we're gonna do here hmm, i think i think i want this to overhang outwards uh, have i got any i could maybe that's not gonna work there we go do this And have the the upper floor. This will let me have the upper floor wider than the lower floor. Might give a nice effect. Mm, yeah, that could work. It could work. 
I do like how this acacia wood, uh, loads of people have said this, but I like how the acacia wood uh, fits together with uh, the grey of the stone and the new andesite. I think that's quite quite groovy. Let's uh, whip some more of these guys up. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'll tell you what I have been doing <laughs> during my hi hiatus. Apart from working like a a maniac at honestly the last month or so I've probably worked an extra mm, three four sometimes five hours every evening um, simply because um, I've I've taken on some extra responsibilities uh, at my work and um, and strangely enough turns out um that i take those responsibilities really quite uh, I, I find them really quite important um which is strange for me because i've always felt that i was the sort of guy who worked simply uh, to you know work, work to pay my way you know um just get enough that's not right um you know, make enough money to live comfortably. Um, and beyond that, I didn't really care. You know, I never wanted an important job or or what have you. But now I have these new responsibilities at work. Um, I do take them very seriously. And yeah, over the last month, it's really involved quite a lot of extra work um, in the evenings and stuff. So I've not really had any free time even to get back into Oh, just one shot. Blooming typ typical. <laughs> um, uh, not really had uh, the the time to to get back into recording videos. So um, that's, that's definitely been a thing in my life. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, what was I holding that in my hand? <laughs> <laughs> or was it an inventory glitch? Nope. Um, but, um, yeah, that's the thing. Um, now, what we're going to do... I guess I'm going to need more stairs, actually, for this bit here. Um, yeah, let's, let's make some more stairs up. Um, we got... Yeah. Um, also, I have no idea what's going in, on in Minecraft. I said earlier, I, I've not been watching videos, um, and it, it's true. Um, I've had a couple of plays in uh, in the newer snapshots. Um, found out some, some interesting stuff there, I guess. Yeah. Um, I noticed there's a new mob, the Endermite, which um, after a bit of playing around, I realise uh, attracts Endermen. So as soon as we're on that snapshot, I know what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to tear out the ender farm and rework it to use that mechanic because that is amazing. I did notice there seems to be a really... I was doing some testing in a, a creative world and there seems to be a really, really big um, nerf to the way you gain XP in the later levels. You know what? I think... I've got a little bit. Can make some more. I think what we might want here is a bit of circle stone. A little boom like that. Um yeah, so the levels kind of twenty-five and above seem to take an absolute age to accumulate um to you know grind your way through. For XP, yeah, I think that's better. Do I want to? No, I can't because it's only too wide. Um, but yeah, I think I'll go with that. Boom. 
and oh my voice is a bit scratchy not used to uh sitting in front of a mic it's making me nervous mm, a lovely cup of tea um yeah let's have a look at that i think that'll work better Maybe, actually, instead of andesite there. No, in fact, I'm doing... I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong because... Um, this level is going to have chests on, so I don't actually want windows at this height. So what I think is we will have acacia pillars here. And... and a site in between them, like that. Now, hopefully that's not going to come out too bland, but it does mean that the circle stone then is kind of supporting the acacia pillars, which is nice. Mm-hmm. Nope. Oh, I do do like having haste too in this area. Um, right, let's have a look and see. Let's do that as well. See how that looks. I'll pop one on there. Wee. Yeah, I think that's going to work. I think that's going to work. I'm not sure about this guy here. Maybe... Maybe we'll put a circle stone there, if I've got one. And yeah, yeah, I think that's better. Um, otherwise, that the orange heartwood on the acacia looks just a bit funky. Cool, okay. Um, so, what I think we're going to do is we will have uh, let's see no more than that <laughs> uh, don't. Um, we shall have that like that and like that um, let's take you off there um, where did you go there so we'll do that on the inside and uh, we'll need more acacia wood um, like that and then so we're gonna kind of repeat the the pattern that the windows make down uh, down below and then put chests in this area. I think that'll work. I actually, what I'd probably like to do is, hmm, let me think. Let's pick all that up. Um, perhaps we can get away with making this like this. And then do that and that, and then we can put our chests in kind of, you know, uh, end on, and that will vastly increase the amount of storage we've got. What will that do in terms of... Hmm. Let's see what that will do in terms of making this room too narrow. We do that and pop some of this in here. Uh 
no circle stone, so we'll just put some of this in for the moment. Do, 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 do. That is from a tree I cut down ages ago, and now I'm putting building wood up next to it. It will never disappear. <laughs> right. You know what? I don't think that's going to be too narrow. And we'll be able to fit a lot of chests in there. We do four, maybe make them three high. So six double chests per compartment. I think that's going to work. Maybe leave out the middle to put windows in the middle. Yeah. I think that is going to work. I think that is going to work. What about the materials? I think. I think that's okay. Maybe do a glowstone down there. I'm not sure if I've got any, but uh, huh. Okay, well, I've been talking and blithering for a little bit. Uh, you know, I apologise. It's uh, a slightly ran rambly episode. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a little bit of time. Uh, filling this out a little bit um, and uh, I'll come back to you okay so I've been busy um, building this sucker um, let's have a look at what it looks like so the downstairs you've pretty much already seen filled in the glass oh um, I forgot to mention it's half slabs under here so none of this is spawnable uh, the carpet's actually floating above the half slabs so that's uh useful um at what um one side of this i'm gonna have to put a staircase to the upstairs now this side might be a bit tight although i could build something that incorporates this here like some sort of thing on the side um which is why i haven't filled in either end of this um or it might be at the other end I've put all the chests in, all the chests in, um, at the moment I've just got torches under there, but I will be replacing that with glowstone, um, probably, yeah, we just put glowstone here and here, maybe actually want to get rid of the torches behind that and put a solid block in, never mind, um, but yeah, that's pretty much what that's going to be like there. So I can uh, do that and that. And that should bring plenty of light into here. Um, I'm hoping right out to the middle. In fact, uh, light is, block light is nine. Yeah, that's good. Easily be enough, especially with the glow stick. Uh, <laughs> is this silk touch? Yeah, it is. Awesome. Um, let's with glowstone on either side. Definitely not going to have any any problems at all with light levels, which is nice. Um, I've got the beams up there. Uh, I'm not sure if I leave the torches there. Uh, if I want to move them, then I'm going to have to kind of make it non. In fact, actually thinking about it yeah just doing that will actually kind of obscure the torches a little bit more you can still see them a bit um but yeah it's better i think that's better doing that um and yeah so we've i put a roof on it um don't know really i haven't figured out what i'm doing in terms of a staircase on one end or the other and what I'll do at the other end, I don't know if I'm going to have this building kind of accessible from this hillside or not. Um, but ah, I think it's a pretty good start. Let's have a uh, glance at it from a couple of different angles. So, yeah, it's a bit occluded by its position. I knew that was going to happen um, from over here, but... Uh, I think it works out okay. Uh, can you see it from down there? Possibly not. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, 
Nope. Fail. <laughs> How's the... <laughs> that squid factory, uh, squid farm, really does work a lot better than I ever expected it to. Um, right. And let's... Yeah, I need to do some landscaping around here, obviously. Um, let's have a hop down here, which is where I suspect we're going to get the best view of it. Yeah, not bad. I can see that I've set it a little bit further back than I probably should have. Um, it occludes the fact that it's got windows at the bottom. So maybe I, I might have to shave this wall back a little bit. Mm, or lower it down a little bit so it, it's a bit more obvious. Um, it's a shame about having no windows on the second floor. But, you know, that's where the chests go. I guess I could swap it around, but... Mm. Um, but yeah I'm going to cut the episode here actually um, mainly because um, well I forgot to mention actually I did try and record an episode uh, a few weeks ago and I got halfway through and then thought you know what I'll call it a night and I'll fi finish this off at another evening and, um, and it never ever got finished and it's now been like three weeks since I recorded that so I just decided to start again uh, but I'm going to cut the episode off here um, edit it a bit and uh, test out my super whizzy new fibre broadband um, maybe even upload this in uh, 1080p what do you reckon <laughs> not sure it's only uh, I got. I think I've got uh, 6 six meg upload which is, is not bad It's it's pretty good for this area so Anyway, um, thank you for watching, um, if you made it this far, um, hopefully there will be another episode out soon, um, please, you know, leave a comment, uh, tell me what you want me to do, help me out, help me get back into the swing of things, um, thanks again to everyone who left a message, sent me a message, um, asking me you know where I was if I was all right you know um you guys rock you really do um but that's all we that is all we're doing today I've been woolly and until next time guys take care of yourselves <laughs>